Today we're taking a look at our NBA parlay, best picks and prop bets, for the games that are happening on Wednesday, February 16, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. We are going to start with the parlay picks. Our first parlay pick for today is Atlanta Hawks vs Orlando Magic. Hawks minus 9.5. The Atlanta Hawks sit at 27-30 following their win on Tuesday night over Cleveland. Atlanta has now gone 2-4 in their last six games heading into the All-Star break, making tonight's game vital to getting things back on track. The Hawks are currently hanging on to the 10th and final play-in spot in the Eastern Conference, but will need to play above .500 ball after the All-Star break to secure a playoff spot. They will again be without forward John Collins as he recovers from a lower leg injury. The Orlando Magic sit at just 13-46 and in last place in the Southeast Division and with the second-worst record in the NBA, just a game ahead of the lowly Detroit Pistons. They've dropped five of six games as they endure yet another rebuilding campaign. The Magic defense has particularly fallen on hard times, allowing an average of 122 points per game over their last three losses. Unfortunately for Orlando, they now welcome in the NBA's eighth-highest scoring offense in the Atlanta Hawks. On Tuesday night, the Hawks downed the Cleveland Cavaliers 124-116 in a crucial Eastern Conference victory. Trey Young led the way with 41 points, including 11 of 13 from the free throw line, and 9 assists. Danilo Gallinari, stepping into the starting power forward spot with Collins' absence, chipped in with 25 points, shooting 3 of 7 from 3 PT range. DeAndre Hunter, getting more minutes with Collins out, started at small forward and had 18 points. The Hawks shot 54% from the field in the victory and 42% from 3PT range. In addition, the Hawks went 24 of 27 from the free throw line compared with the Cavs who only went to the charity stripe 12 times, hitting 10. Atlanta halted a small losing streak with a nice win over Cleveland last night. Trey Young scored 41 points, but just as critical were the 25 points from Danilo Gallinari. With John Collins out, Gallinari is going to get more playing time and the Hawks need him to be a secondary scorer. Atlanta has to flex some depth for a little while, which it had no problem doing last season and should be able to do again given that the roster is similar. Orlando has lost its last three games, all by double digits. Rookie guard Jalen Suggs has been promising, but the backcourt pairing with Cole Anthony hasn't really worked. The Magic could be in for another double-digit loss, as the Hawks are one of the streakiest teams in the league and a win over a good Cleveland team could get them going again. Our second parlay pick, Brooklyn Nets vs New York Knicks. Nets win. A pair of struggling teams from the Big Apple meet at Madison Square Garden on Wednesday night. The Brooklyn Nets snap their 11-game losing streak on Monday night against the Sacramento Kings without Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant or newly acquired Ben Simmons in the lineup. The Knicks are 2-8 Sue and against the spread over their last 10 games. Brooklyn may have some newfound confidence after the trade deadline but will be without their stars again in this matchup. Seth Curry provided a scoring surge in his first game in a Nets uniform, although he had only 18 points in 71 minutes in his two meetings against New York while with Philadelphia. After Harden was held to four points in his final game, reports about him wanting out of Brooklyn continued to surface, and he sat out the final three games before he was traded Thursday to the Philadelphia 76ers for Ben Simmons, Curry, and Drummond. The new Nets will be in action in this game against the Knicks. Julius Randle leads the team in points, 19.4, rebounds, 10.2, and assists, 5.2. RJ Baird, who averages 18 points a game, has missed New York's last three contests due to a sprained left ankle. They desperately need his scoring, and they are in danger of falling deep out of contention. The Knicks had at least four starters go over the 40-minute mark in minutes in their surprising Valentine's Day loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. There was no love shown on the offensive end of the floor with the team dropping off with 41.5% shooting. It's a common theme for a Knicks team with the sixth worst offensive efficiency rating in the league. This is what they do. The additions of Seth Curry and Andre Drummond paid off immediately for the Nets. Curry led the team in scoring, and Drummond was a rebounding sponge at the rim. It was enough to topple the visiting Sacramento Kings at the Barclays Center on Monday. Brooklyn is the worst ATS team in the NBA this season, covering only 37% of the time. 
but the Nets are 6-6 at TS as a road underdog this season. They will need another big offensive output from Curry and Patty Mills. The Knicks' usually stout defense has faltered, allowing 117 points per game over their last 10, and they are fading down the stretch, going 3-12 Sue in the last month. It seems like the Knicks shouldn't be favored by 5 over anyone, and despite the Nets' depleted lineup, they can come out on top again, invigorated by their additions from Philadelphia. Our third parlay pick is, Portland Trailblazers vs Memphis Grizzlies, Trailblazers plus 12. Memphis comes into this game favored by 13.5 points, which seems like a bit of a stretch here against a Portland team that has won three in a row. The Trailblazers may have shipped off CJ McCollum at the trade deadline, but they actually improved their roster by bringing on a few valuable starters. The additions of Hart and Winslow could help keep Portland in contention for a play-in spot, and it wouldn't surprise me if the Trailblazers gave Memphis all it could handle here. Damian Lillard, Joe Ingles, Nasser Little, Kean Johnson, Didi Laudza, Dennis Smith Jr., and Eric Bledsoe are all out for the Portland Trailblazers at the moment, and yet this team has put together a three-game win streak. All five starters scored in double figures, led by Anthony Simons who dropped 31, and Josh Hart who had 27 as they upset the defending champions Bucks 122-107, despite entering the game as 11.5 point underdogs. Tonight they face a Memphis team they've already beaten twice this season, last time they met was in mid-December, and Portland won 105-100 on the road. According to Dunksandthrees.com, Memphis ranks 5th in the NBA, with an adjusted plus 4.7 net rating. The Grizzlies have posted an adjusted 113.5 offensive rating, 4th in the NBA, and they rank 9th on the other end of the floor, with an adjusted 109.1 defensive rating. Memphis is also on a roll with 6 wins in a row, and 9 in their last 10 games. They were without their best player John Morant in last night's 121-109 win at New Orleans, as Tyus Jones stepped up with 27 and 9 assists. The Grizzlies have now covered the spread in six games in a row, and during this win streak, they are beating teams by an average of 17 points. They've also done well against Western Conference teams winning 13 of their last 15 games. Morant's status for tonight is questionable, with the team doing really well even without him, I don't think the Grizzlies will rush him back anytime soon. According to Dunksandthrees.com, Portland ranks 25th in the NBA, with an adjusted minus 4.2 net rating. The Trailblazers sport an adjusted 110.1 offensive rating, 20th in the NBA, to go along with an adjusted 114.3 defensive rating, which ranks 28th in the league. I have Memphis winning this one at home, but they are favorites by 11.5 points, which is a lot to cover against a team that's beaten them twice this season. Portland has been able to stabilize the ship following all the trades made before the deadline, let's back them to cover for the fourth game in a row. And now for our best picks, Portland Trailblazers vs Memphis Grizzlies. Trailblazers plus 12. Damian Lillard, Joe Ingles, Nasser Little, Kean Johnson, Didi Laudza, Dennis Smith Jr., and Eric Bledsoe are all out for the Portland Trailblazers at the moment, and yet this team has put together a three-game win streak. All five starters scored in double figures, led by Anthony Simons, who dropped 31, and Josh Hart, who had 27 as they upset the defending champions Bucks 122-107, despite entering the game as 11.5-point underdogs. Tonight they face a Memphis team they've already beaten twice this season, with Portland winning 105-100 on the road when they last met in mid-December. Memphis is also on a roll with six wins in a row, and nine in the last ten games. The Grizzlies were without their best player, John Morant, in last night's 121-109 win at New Orleans, but Tyus Jones stepped up with 27 and 9 assists. The Grizzlies have now covered the spread in six games in a row, and during this win streak, they are beating teams by an average of 17 points. They've also done well. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory. 